Hi, welcome back to Horse Tricks. I'm glad you're here today. We're going to have a little fun in this episode working with Liberty horses. We're going to see a two horse Liberty display that's already trained. And then a little later in our episode, we're going to work with two horses at Liberty together and show you how to make that work. All this and more coming up on Horse Tricks. Well, right now we're going to have a little fun with Liberty training. So here are Lady Dancer and Lucky Star and they're going to show you a nice Liberty display. Go on, Lucky Star. Hop. Good. This is what we call our big and little Liberty display. Hop. Now, one of the things that's important in the training is teaching the horses their position. We want them to change, but whoa, here, lady here. Good. And lady change. Good. Lady change. Hop. Now, lady's behind, so she's going to have to pass Lucky Star and get back in place, just like that, good. They learn to find their places, even in an act with many more horses. Whoa, here, lady change, lady change. They're feeling good today. All right, and lady, you're gonna go in front. I'm gonna hold Lucky Star back, good, whoa. Now we're gonna have some fun. Lucky Star is gonna go in front. And Lady Dancer, you go in front. Hop, get over Lucky Star. Hop, Lady go in front. Good, hop. They like to race a little bit. And Lucky Star, you go in front. We're in a pretty big round pen here. It's about 55 feet. Lucky Star's got to cover a lot of ground. Lady Dancer, go in front. Good, hop. And Lady Waltz. Good, we're going to have Lady Waltz. Let's try that again. Lucky Star Waltz. Lady, good, hop. Star, good, hop. Lady, good, hop. Get behind Star, good. And Star, Star, good, hop. <laughs> All right, Star, come here. We're going to go the other way, Star. Now we're going to change direction. One going each way. Get over, Lady. Hop, hop, good. Again, we're using our whip right now to keep them over. Change. Hop. Good horses. Hop. Now, when we, work, when we train this, we use lunge lines to decide who would go on the inside and who would go on the outside. Hop. Change. Star, lady. Hop. Beautiful. A nice double change. Hop. And whoa, here. Good. Ho. Excellent. Now we're going to set some pedestals and show you a little bit more of their routine. Our email question this week comes from a viewer, Christy, in South Carolina. She says, I've been following along with your training program and I'm round pinning my horse, but I just can't get him to come to me no matter what I do. Well, Christy, we're going to help you out with this today. Actually, in our training segment, what we're going to have you do is actually put a lunge line on your horse call him to you, reward him nicely, a lot of verbal and physical praise, a little bit of treats, make him feel really comfortable when he comes to the middle of the ring and comes to you, what I call the lineup, and then slowly work into turning him off the lunge line and getting him to do that. So we'll show you how to do that a little bit later in our training segment, our viewer email of the week. You can always email me your horse-related questions to Heidi at horsetricks.com. So we put some pedestals in and now we're going to show you some more advanced work and how they work together. All right, lady, hop. Again, we've showed you how to do the mount on the pedestal and this is a way to make it a little more advanced. And lady, come on up here and hop right up there on your pedestal for me. Hop. Good, lady, hop. Just like that. Excellent. Okay, lucky star. Go ahead, take off. Go on. Now we're going to have a little fun. Lucky Star, Volte. Volte, Star, Volte, good. And right under the belly, Volte, Star, Volte. Good, Star, Volte, up. And go ahead, good boy. All right, all the way around, and whoa, here. Ho, just like that, excellent. All right, Star and Lady, go ahead. And let's put that other pedestal in. Good. And now they'll both get up on their pedestals. Hop, go on, star, lady, hop, go on. Lady, hop, good.
good. Lady, go in front. Star, go on. Star, go on, lady. You got to get in front, lady. Get over, star. Lady. Good. Lady, go in front. Good. They know their names. Good. All right. Stay there, star. Ho ho. Good. And whoa. Hop. Star, you missed your pedestal. Back up. Star up. Right there. Good. Hop. Lady, hop. Good. Hop. And star, we're going to ask you to turn all the way around. Keep going. Keep going just like that. And how about a nice salute? Good horses. Excellent. And lady, how about a big smile? Good. All right. So that's how we're using the pedestals in a more advanced version. All right. Hop. Gate. Good. Hop. Hi, lucky star. We're going to take out the one more pedestal. And we'll finish up our Liberty display. Good. All right. Star going. Hop. Good. Lady, hop. Good. Star going. Hop. Lady. Good. All the way up. Star, hop. Whoa. Here. Lady, here. Ho. Oh, here. Here. And hop. A nice rare. Ho. Oh, good. And bow down. Lady down. Star down. Lady down. Good. Star down. A nice bow by Lady Dancer and Lucky Star. Excellent. Well, that was a lot of fun. The Liberty Display incorporated a lot of the elements that we've taught you over the horse trick series, including mounting a pedestal, round penning and having your horse line up, and the bow. So lots of fun in how we incorporate that elements into something a little bit more advanced. So I hope you had some fun with that. Now when we come back, we're actually going to teach you to do a little Liberty training yourself. Stay tuned, there's more horse tricks coming your way. I love traveling around the country with my horses performing and facilitating clinics. I get to meet a lot of great people. If you're interested in hosting a clinic and you have a facility or a location, let me know. I'd be happy to discuss it with you. There's a lot of options available. We can do trick horse training, liberty training, dancing high school horse training, and or general horsemanship. So lots of options available. I'd love to come to you and facilitate a clinic. So as I said, today in our training segment, we're going to have a little fun training some Liberty. And I've enlisted the help of a beautiful Mustang horse. His name is Einstein, and he's our candidate. So as always, I want to go over tools and tack with you. I have my lash whip that I was using earlier in the Liberty routine with Lucky Star and Lady Dancer. We've outfitted Einstein in a training surcingle. You saw this in an earlier episode of the Miniature Horses, and this is something that's really important I use in all my training. It's how I started with Lady Dancer, Lucky Star, and all the other horses. So it has a crouper. It has the surcingle. We have some um, rubbery side checks, some stretchy side checks to start out with, and we have a basic snaffle bit in the horse's mouth. Those rubber side checks are hooked right into that. Now we also always want to leave their halter on for these training sessions because we want to hook our lunge line and anything else we're using right into the halter and stay away from the bit as much as possible. One of the things that this surcingle does for us that's really important, it's a precursor to riding a horse. We actually have the horse checked into a little bit of a collection, which means where they actually drop their head down and carry themselves in this nice formation. So these side checks allow us to simulate a rider's hands. So if we're preliminarily riding a horse, we're using the equivalent of these side checks to hold them steady. What I love about a training surcingle, surcingle is we get the same effect without anybody's hands pulling on the bit at all. Even the best rider, when we're on a horse and the horse is moving, our hands tend to move just a little bit. This provides the option to actually, for the horse to learn collection and learn to accept the bit and set themselves without having the rider's hands and getting really accustomed to this. You can also start with this a lot earlier than you could start with riding. You're not going to be riding a horse for a couple of years, maybe three years, 
But as early as a year, 18 months, we start them in a Sir single and teach them the basics of liberty. So let me get started. I have all my tools attacked. I also have a longer lunge line. My lunge line is about 15, 18 feet. We're in a pretty good size round pen here and I want to be able to move the horse over to the edges of the round pen. I also, as always, have a pocket full of treats. Okay, so Einstein's been round penning, round penning pretty well. I'm pleased with that. So we're moving him up to the next level here. He's going to be one of the performers in the shows here at Arabian Nights. He's a nice horse. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is exactly what we do in the round pen. I'm going to put my hand up to keep him over here, come up beside him, because I want to send him off to go this way in the ring. We're going to send him counterclockwise, which is the main direction that the horses like to go. But in order to do that, just like in the round pen, I'm going to face towards the back, put my hand up, and ask the horse to go on. Push him off. I'm going to follow right around behind him and fall into place. Okay, so he did that really nicely. Now when he's in here successfully running around, I'm just going to keep my whip pointed just behind his tail. My eyes and my body are going to point right at the girth area. And I'm going to push him over a little bit now. That's when the whip comes in nice and handy, one of your training aids. When he comes in a little too close to me, I'm actually going to take my whip and just very lightly push him over. And you see, it doesn't make him go a lot faster. He's pretty comfortable with the whip because I've worked with him quite a bit to show him that it's merely a training aid, not something he needs to be fearful of. We always say if our, if our hands were six feet longer, we wouldn't use any whips, but we'd be pretty funny looking. <laughs> All right, so he's doing pretty nice. So the next time around, I'm going to ask him to line up. I'm holding the lunge line pretty easy, so I'm going to throw my whip on the other side. Whoa, here, here, ho, good. I want him to stop. He loves to come right up to me, but I like him to stop right about there. The purpose with Einstein in a performance I'm creating with him would be to have as many as eight other horses performing with him. Ears up, licking his lips, that's excellent. Good boy. Now I'm going to take the lunge line off of Einstein because again I want to show you, let this progress a little bit. We would do that a few times each direction, pull him to us and ask him to line up. Now I'm going to send him off and we're going to have him run around and then I'll line him up without the lunge line. So again, you always want to progress. You want to make sure you're ready for it and the horse is ready. But sometimes we forget to actually move forward into the next step. So he's running along just beautifully. I'm just keeping my whip out just right behind his tail. Walk in my five foot circle. This is perfect. Whoa, here. Einstein here. Good. Ho. That was beautiful. I'm very happy. Now he likes to roll forward, so I'm going to back him up. Ho! Good. I want him to stay just like that. Ultimately, I want him to stand there. And if I want to put a pedestal in the ring or do something else, or walk up and take a bow in the performance, I want to make sure that the horse just like this stands still. So I love this. Now, we're going to come back in just a minute, and we're going to put another horse in the ring and show you how to work with two together. Stay tuned, we'll be right back with more horses. Okay, so we were just working with Einstein and he was doing a really nice job. Well, now I brought in Lady Dancer. We put a nice Sir Single harness on her as well. And we're actually gonna show you how to incorporate more horses into the training program. So I put the lunge line back on Einstein. Lady Dancer's actually worked with Lucky Star and some other horses. So I think she'll be okay. I couldn't use two lunge lines if I'd like, but it's a little easier, the less lunge lines we have to deal with, the better. But I'll put one on Einstein to get him started and see how this goes. So we're going to send him off. So we're going to send them both off. Einstein, go on. Good. And Lady. Okay. So we're going to push him over. We're going to ask Lady to come right up behind Einstein a little closer. We're going to push Einstein over. Good. Ho, ho. Come on, Lady. Catch up. I want to close the gap a little bit with Lady, so I'm asking her to move forward and I'm going to slow him down at the same time. Ho ho, Einstein ho, good. Whoa, walk. Good, we're going to ask Einstein to walk and we're going to ask Lady to trot up. Good, whoa, right there. Ho ho, very nice. So you see what happened there? I have one horse that I'm asking to do one thing which is to walk. 
and another horse asking them to trot up. So that's perfect. We just want them to get right up close to each other. It's important for him to feel somebody behind him because eventually Einstein's going to work with a lot of horses. So he has to be comfortable. Sometimes they'll try to kick at the other horse or the horse behind will try to run up on top of them. So we got to be ready and sort through all those issues. Still using my lash whip. Again, I'm just keeping lady, my whip behind lady so that I can bring her forward. I can still use my whip in front of Einstein or at lady's side. Good. And now I'm going to ask Einstein to do a halt. Ho! That's beautiful. Both horses. Ho! Whoa! Excellent. I'm going to ask him to move on, lady. I want lady a little closer. Good. And we're going to ask for a halt. Good. Excellent. That's perfect. Huh? I found Einstein to be a very smart horse, very fun to work with. I'm barely using the lunge line. I didn't ask you to do that yet, Einstein. Huh? And now, how about a halt? Perfect. This is a, this is a precursor to a trick I want to do with them. So now I'm going to ask them to line up together. Whoa! Here, lady! Lady! Ho, Einstein! Ho! Einstein did his job. Lady! Here. Lady here. <coughs> Einstein's kind of a little nervous <laughs> about lady. Now in a perfect world they'd be standing next to each other. So I want to try to get him over a little bit. He's dancing sideways here. But that's okay. They still both lined up. Lady, I need you to stand still. Einstein, I'm going to ask you to get over. Good, ho. I, I'm going to just push Einstein over a little bit. Good, ho, lady. Good. They got to get comfortable with each other. Good, ho. So I'm liking this. They're at least both standing here. So I am going to give lady a nice treat as well. Now what I want to do is take the lunge line off and just ask both horses to move around. Now I'm going to pick up my second whip. I don't like to try to use two whips with a lunge line. It's just more than your hands can handle and you end up having more problems than you do help. So this time I want to send them off. Lady going. I'm going to try to keep Einstein behind Lady. Lady up. I'm going to now move Einstein up a little bit. Good. Stay back, Einstein. Good. You see how my whip works right there for me. Lady going. Lady hop. Einstein hop. So now we got to control two horses. Now what I'm going to do is keep Einstein behind Lady, or that's my goal. If I had a lot of trouble with this and he was running forward, I'd sure put a lunge line back on him and just check him back as he tried to pass. I want him to come up just a little bit more. So you can see I'm just throwing my whip at him, asking him to move forward. Good. I'm liking this a lot. This is fantastic. We want the horse to be able to lead and follow. So this is beautiful. Now I'm going to ask him to both trot on. I'm going to do that by saying, hop. There we go. Just like that. Perfect. Now lady's laying her ears back, and I wouldn't be surprised if she might kick a little bit because she is a mare. And she's not used to having a big horse behind her. Usually it's Lucky Star. Whoa! Here! Einstein! Lady here! Einstein here! Ho! Oh. This is beautiful. A lineup with no lunge lines. That's fantastic. Well, that was a lot of fun working with the two horses together. You can see it gets a little intricate. You need to make sure you're on your game. What I am excited about is Einstein, the Mustang, will be one of eight Mustangs that will be performing together at Liberty in a project that I'm starting to work on now and we plan to introduce into the show later this fall. You're going to be able to follow along with that training project, the Wild Horses of America, training these eight Mustangs at HeidiHarriet.com. We're going to bring you some footage and give you regular updates as we acquire the other horses and put them all together. So you've already seen Einstein in action and I know we're going to have a lot of fun throughout the summer training the Mustangs, the Wild Horses of America. Our training tip today is about patience. <coughs> training horses can be a very rewarding experience and it can also be frustrating at times. So I always encourage you, first and foremost, bring your patience to the barn. Set a plan of action. Make yourself knowledgeable and informed about what you want to do and how to go about it. Watching horse tricks is a great start. Then when you get into the training ring or arena, 
stay the course, but be willing to adapt if necessary, depending on the reaction you're getting from your horse. Your knowledge will help you decide the fine line between staying the course and adapting the plan. If you find yourself getting frustrated, by all means, take a time out, take yourself out of the training ring or arena, cool off, rethink the plan and strategy, or if you feel like it's just over your head, get some help from professionals, and you should have a rewarding training experience. Our training tip of the week. Coming up next week on Horse Tricks, we're gonna take you behind the scenes at one of America's favorite horse shows and dinner theaters, Arabian Nights, a sneak peek into the training of our specialty horses. The trick we'll be training is the breakdown, another version of the bow. Join us next time on Horse Tricks. Well, I'm so glad you decided to join me today and I hope you had some fun and inspiration for some training you can do with your horses. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your horse training journey. And remember, happiness is horses.